Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV. I want to spend a few minutes with you today going over a brand new model, a brand new floor plan from Jayco. It's a White Hawk. It's a 27RK. This is the first one that we've gotten in, first one I've seen yet in person. I'm really looking forward to going over this with you because it uh, might be one of my new favorite couples camper floor plans. This is a couple camper dream because well, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's go around on the outside before we go on the inside, and I'll point out some of the neat features that are consistent with all of the White Hawks, including this one. You can always identify a White Hawk with the clear, uh, not clear, but the tinted glass automotive windshield insert in the front. This is almost always your headboard on a White Hawk, so it really brightens up the inside. It's a neat feature on the White, uh, White Hawk line. Now, as is true with all the White Hawks, you always get a table somewhere, and I love this. This is a little table pocket, so you always have a table you can pull out for the patio, but it tucks up there and snaps in place for travel, so you still have all of this nice big storage area underneath. Notice how clean it is. It's lighted up here. Um, and I know uh, Jayco has started putting these little remote control looking things. We have front retract, front extend. These are your stabilizing jacks that are down here. So these are electric stabilizing jacks and you can do it push button control. Now you can also do it from your phone and I'll show you how to do that in a second as well. We have two 30 pound propane bottles up top that are connected together. Electric tongue jack that's lighted, easy up and easy down for hooking and unhooking tasks. Your battery tray sits right behind the propane bottles. You can put two batteries in this tray. We'll fully prep everything for you before you take delivery. That means the propane bottles would be filled. Brand new battery installed. It's cleaned. It's a little bit dirty right now, but it's fully cleaned and prepped before you take ownership. I turned these courtesy lights on, these marker lights. These are marine grade LED lights. These really look neat in a campground at night. Makes it super easy to find your unit. On the opposite side of our pass-through storage, notice we have magnet catches. Keeps that door up and they're pretty strong. Keeps that up and out of the way instead of those little plastic things that would always break. On the opposite side of that nice clean pass-through storage area, have a battery disconnect right here. So if you're gonna be away from your unit for a while, turn that off. That's gonna save your batteries from any small parasitic uh, drain. We have a black tank flush valve and then a gravity water fill here. So as I often say, no need to fill this all the way up unless you're going off uh, to dry camp for a week. Put a few gallons in here, just enough to wash your hands, flush the toilet in transit, and then when you get close to where you're going, then fill this up. Otherwise, you're just hauling around uh, a bunch of weight unnecessarily. Gravity fill. Now we've got our sewer connection here with black and, and gray pull valves, easy to access, always nicely labeled with Jayco. This is a 50 amp coach detachable 50 amp uh, power cord. Frameless windows on all the White Hawks, so these all tilt out. I like that for a couple reasons. It protects the seal from UV rays, so these tend to streak less than regular framed windows. But when they tilt out, that means it can't rain in, so you can leave these windows open during a day, go for a hike, if it comes up a shower, it won't rain in. I like that. Every wall on a Jayco fiberglass unit like this White Hawk is vacuum bonded. So most manufacturers do a, uh, a pinch rolling process for their, their walls. Jayco pulls 144 tons of vacuum for 16 minutes, virtually removes the possibility of delamination over the lifetime of this coach. Uh, makes for a much more strong wall assembly. That's why it matters to you. We have a shower, hot and cold, out here, right here in the corner. Uh, so you can wash off the dog, wash off your legs. Heck, you can take a shower right here. Kind of got some privacy right here in this corner. Full-size spare. Jayco always gives you a full-size spare. And it's a Goodyear Endurance tire, too. So not only are the tires underneath this coach Goodyear, the spare's a Goodyear as well. American-made with a six-year 
prorated warranty. Right here we have our six gallon direct spark ignition water heater. You can open it up and access the inside. You can see our anode rod is laying here, which means it's been winterized. Pop that in place. Have a ladder to get up top when you need. I suggest getting up on top a couple times a year, giving the coach a bath, treating the roof membrane. Speaking of which, this has the Dicor Generation 3 roofing material that carries a 20 year warranty. That's a fantastic warranty. When you stack it up against Jayco's already industry leading warranty, which is two years uh, of all the components, three years structural, 20 year roofing membrane warranty and six year tire warranty, it's a pretty stout warranty. Now in this back corner, we have our little outdoor kitchen assembly. I've already laid the Capitol Grill uh, out here just to indicate that this comes with it. And I've put in this J-Port assembly tray. So your grill is going to rest right here with our propane quick connect right underneath. So we've got a cooking platform here, drink refrigerator, and then a utility utensil drawer. I have electrical hookups in here where I can put a hot plate, coffee maker, blender, and whatnot. So this is kind of outdoor kitchen central in this corner of the coach. When it's time to, to pack up and go, simply pull this out, store it in the pass-through storage up front or in the back of your truck. Have our furnace vent here. And then on the patio side, we can take that table out that I showed you earlier. We have electrical hookups and coax cable hookups. So we can put a television out here easily Anything that requires power, we have easy access to power right here. You can hang a TV out here too if you want. Now this is a fully adjustable um, awning. Notice we have LED light strip underneath the awning and speakers embedded into the exterior wall of the coach. So Whitehawk, so we have nice wide Moride step above steps. Uh, just got this in, apologize for the dirt. We'll clean it up for you. I love these steps because these legs are adjustable. So if you're in uneven ground, it's easy to adjust these up and down and make sure you have a good firm point of contact on the ground that latches in place. And that's the travel position. This is a neat thing they've started doing last uh, model year. You can pull these two pins out and this whole step assembly will come out in the event that you're in a storage facility where you don't have a lot of width to get in here, or maybe you're parking it right next to your house or garage, you don't have room to extend these down, pull these pins out and this whole thing can come out and you can use a step stool or whatever to get in and out of the, out of the trailer. Very nice. Let's go inside and have a look. So now we're inside of this 27 RK Whitehawk and one of the things that makes this special is how much room is in the back of the coach here. This is a rear kitchen, so check out all of this cabinet uh, area and countertop space. Talk about prep space galore. Now we have a TV that's on a televator with matching countertop material, so this can actually be all prep space with the TV in the down position, but even with it up, you've got all of this space and the corner. This has kind of a cottage feel to it. I'm thinking that's a perfect plant, place for a plant or something like that in the corner. It has a real cottage uh, vibe to it. Then this also combines with our living area on this side. So we have our table and two chairs and an ottoman two recliners right across from the TV here. This is a floor plan that's brand new. Never seen one of these before and I'm already liking it. Now inside this ottoman we have storage. You can pull this out wherever you want it. It's hinged on the back. Perfect place for kids toys, dogs toys, uh, extra linens, jackets, blankets, and that kind of thing. You can pull it out and use it as a footrest or leave it here to sit at. It can go on that side and put the chairs over here either way. We can also extend out this table for more room when you have guests over for dinner one night. Now in this unit, there is one sleeping position and it's in the bed up front. Neither one of these convert into a bed. However, if you're going to bring the grandkids uh, or have a guest overnight, 
there's plenty of floor space here to put uh, an inflatable mattress or that kind of thing, even though these don't convert into a bed per se. With this slide out, so it's a slide out from here right to the edge of that wall. This is all one slide out. It really opens up the floor space here. So panning on around, we have our microwave up on top, have a lighted uh, vent hood here that's vented to the outside. Three burner Furion cooktop. This is your backsplash, backlit controls, and a little oven space below. Storage in the bottom of that. Might as well go ahead and show off this storage as well. Jayco's cabinet build quality on display here, 75 pound ball bearing drawer glides. Jayco will always have solid maple cabinetry. So all your door faces are gonna be solid maple, not wrapped wood. You can open this up to reveal your RV Technologies uh, Entertainment Center. This is Bluetooth, so you can stream music to this, push music out on the patio or through the speakers overhead. Smoked glass inserts on this modern farmhouse decor. So quite a bit of cabinet space over top of the sink area. High rise gooseneck faucet inside of a double basin stainless steel sink. We have our strainer on one side, cutting board on the other. Back here we have a little uh, tower of power, two 120 volt outlets and two USB as well. Got, got some storage under here and also gives you access to the P-trap. I like the inserts in the Furion 12 volt refrigerator. It makes it look like another piece of cabinetry. This is a 12 volt refrigerator. If you've seen my videos, you probably know I'm kind of in love with these because it's two cubic foot bigger than a typical RV refrigerator of similar size. It's, it's deeper, so you get rid of those fins that you often see in a gas electric fridge. This is running off 12 volts all the time. A lot of people say, well, how can you dry camp with that? You can't, can you? You actually can. So this is gonna keep running off of your fully charged batteries, certainly overnight. Depends on how many times you're opening the door and the, the status of the charge of your battery and so on. But this is always running from your batteries. When you're going down the road, your charge line from your tow vehicle is charging your batteries. If you have solar, it's charging the batteries. And then eventually when you have shore power, it's charging the batteries. So it's nice, you don't have to worry about propane going to this appliance. It's running all the time off 12 volt charge. Two plus three warranty, it's something we can't state enough about Jayco products. Nice storage on that side of the fridge and then shelf storage next to that. And you have two neat little drawers on the bottom and a big drawer below the fridge. So this is a 32 foot coach, if I didn't mention already, I will now, we're 32 feet long. Dry weight's about 6,800 pounds. So certainly half ton towable. Not a huge trailer, but when you start adding up all these features and all the, all the storage space, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Shaw residential flooring uh, under our feet. It's 5 8 tongue and groove um, plywood under the floor. So we have plywood under the floor of a Jayco, plywood in the roof structure, and plywood on the bed decks. That's something that I always encourage uh, folks to do when you're shopping around, and you should. Lift up the mattress and see what you see. If you see particle board or OSB, chances are there's particle board under your feet where you can't see it, maybe in the roof. Um, that off gases a lot. It's, it's heavy, it's not as strong, doesn't get along well with moisture at all. Jayco's a plywood based builder. Now we have these neat little TV tray inserts. So you can pull this up and have popcorn, have your beverage in here. If you don't want these, simply pull them out. You can toss them under the bed up there, but they just insert into the existing cup holder and then push out of the way. To recline, simply pull this out and I'm in a recline position right across from the TV, which I need to show you. So we have a fireplace and a television on this. 
Here is the insert for the TEV Televator. It's manual, so simply pull up on this tab right here, and up goes the TV. It doesn't have a motor, so there's nothing to break in terms of an electric motor, so you don't have to worry about that. It's manual. When it's time to push it back in, you literally just push it back in like so. I'll leave it in the up position so you can get an idea. Nice television, and then underneath we have a fireplace. Love fireplaces, they're fancy space heaters. So if you're at your campground and you paid your 50, 60 bucks a night, you might as well use their power source rather than your own propane to heat this trailer. That little fireplace uh, is gonna do a very respectable job of knocking the chill off of this trailer. So always like to have fireplaces and it's neat that we have one in here. Now moving on back here, well, I'll point this out. We have all of our uh, fuses, 12 volt fuses and 120 volt breakers here, all nicely labeled so you know what they go to. A lot of times um, outlets in wet locations like kitchens and bathrooms are going to be GFI protected. Just a little quick tip, if you ever have problems with some outlets not working, one of the first things you want to look for besides your breakers is to see if one of the GFIs is tripped. Because if it is tripped, everything downstream from that's not going to work. So just, just a little quick tip on thinking about it. This has the J command system on it. It's got a protective film on it, which I'll leave on there. And you can peel this off when you buy it. But this has all the controls. So you can see we have awning, our stabilizing jacks, our slide. Toggle over here, we have our thermostat controls. It's of course off now. We can pair our device to this, so I can pair my phone to this and do everything that I can do here from my phone. And then finally our tank levels, which are of course all empty right now. We have easy access old-fashioned toggle switches here for living room lights, uh, security light outside, and awning lights. So you don't have to fumble through this menu at all. Just hit those when you come in at night. Nice little bathroom. So our nice countertop material extends into this bathroom. So this looks like solid surface, looks kind of like marble, but it's a one piece uh, polycarbonate material, which allows Jayco to do an undermount sink, uh, real residential kind of a treatment there. Have a little room underneath the sink and we do have a medicine cabinet that's backlit. I'm six feet tall. Plenty of leg room for me in here, no problem at all. And we have a shower in which I also have plenty of room. I'm six feet tall, plenty of room on the top here, plenty of elbow room with a glass shower enclosure. Now that's a, um, a porcelain toilet. Easy to clean, easy to keep clean. Quite a bit of shelf storage on this corner of the bathroom. And there's a little compartment over the commode here. Nice. Sneak around here and come into the bedroom area. You'll see these often. These are thermistors. These are sampling the air temperature. So this is sending information back to your um, AC unit and your heater, telling, telling it what the temperature is back here. We have USB charging ports on the side of the bed as well as household current. So Jayco's making every effort to make sure these are CPAP prepped. Neat little bedroom area here. We have reading lights on either side of the headboard. Notice there's a little blue light back there that's switched right down here. That is just enough night light to not blind your partner when it's pitch black and you need to make a bathroom run or something. It's a really neat night light on either side of the bed. You have some modest hanging space for hanging clothes and shelves on the other side. And of course, there's this little nook back here for a bottle of water or reading material and that kind of thing. Now, remember we're in a White Hawk, so that means there's a window up front. Try not to blind you, but this can go from one side or, uh, uh, of the coach to the other for easy access. Just pull it down and that'll open up the window. So you can actually look up to the stars at night and let some natural light in. It's really a neat feature. And then pull it down to be a total blackout shade. We have a cabinet right behind me here with more storage. So you have a hanging clothes rod there. 
and then five drawers below. So um, I get this one and Mrs. Drudge gets all the bottom four ones there, of course. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Lift up the mattress to reveal a nice amount of storage underneath the bed here. Now there's pass-through storage outside, which we already pointed out. That's closed off completely to the inside of the coach. Uh, but we have a separate area right in here to put things that you don't need as much access to. Linens and extra clothes and camping supplies. And this has a gas strut. Obviously it stays up so it's not banging me on the head while I'm trying to get in there and access something. All right, coming back around here again, we're in the 27 RK rear kitchen. That's a White Hawk rear kitchen. Um, didn't point out the skylight, but uh, White Hawks are gonna have a skylight. White Hawks are gonna have a barreled and taller ceiling. All White Hawks are fiberglass, which we pointed out. The White Hawks are gonna have a nice wide entry door with those nice wide uh, entry steps. And in this case, a beautiful big TV on a televator and a fireplace. So lots of luxury appointments in this, even though it's not a huge trailer. From the bathroom back, this feels a little bit like a fifth wheel since you have your combination uh, kitchen and living, living area. It really opens up this space. Uh, big fan of this. I think it'll be real popular. If you'd like to learn more about this, give us a call or email us. We'll get you hooked up with one of our great sales guys here. Again, my name is Mike at Vaud RV. Hey, if you like these videos and you have a second, go ahead and click like and subscribe. We work really hard to bring these videos to you. If there's something you'd like to see us do a video on, let us know and we'll do our best to get to it. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.